All right, so little introduction. We are putting a Yukon Grizzly Locker in a Chevy Trailblazer. Most Chevy Trailblazers come with uh, eight inch ring gear and there's very little to no aftermarket support for that differential. So what we have here is we have an 8.6 differential out of a long wheelbase Trailblazer. This one's out of a 2006 and has the wheel speed sensors. I have a 2004, so I don't need those, but I'll need them to plug the holes. So we're going to leave them in. Um, just that's a quick overview of what we're going to be doing. Okay, so here's all of our materials we have. We have the Yukon Grizzly Locker. We got new pinion seal, new axle seals, new carrier bearings. We have a kit that came with gear marking compound, gasket maker, and Loctite for the carrier or for the ring. We have carrier shims, gear oil, a gasket, a cover, new bolts for the cover, and new backing plates for the brakes. Um, you can get the cover from GM. It comes as a kit with the reusable gasket, the cover, and the bolts. It's like 28 bucks. If you buy a reusable gasket from like Man or Felpro, it's like 35 bucks just for the gasket. So definitely do that. Um, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to open up the differential and get the carrier out so we can get the ring gear off of it. So we have to put the ring gear on the Yukon. All right, real quick, we're gonna open this guy up and get her draining. So we can take the axles out of it. I'll leave a bolt at the top so the cover don't splash. This differential does have brand new fluid in it, so we are going to try to keep it clean. So we can use it for a trail spare. All right, we're back. I got my tools ready. We're going to take the cross pin and retainer bolt out so we can take the C-clips out so we can take the axles out. We're taking out the bolt that holds the pin in. It's an eight millimeter on these. Um, we're going to hope that the bolt's not broken. Sometimes the pin wears and breaks the bolt. Alright, good. The bolt's not broken. It's got a little wear on it, but that's normal. You can see the, the shiny. Pin out. There's the pin. All right, I have a magnet. We're gonna push the axles in a little bit, and I'm gonna get the C clips out. Took my pry bar. I couldn't get the axles in far enough to get the C clips out, so I pried here and pulled the axle in, and then the C clip fell out like it was supposed to. I guess the seals out on the end are stopping the axles from coming all the way in. So now we can pull the axles out. All right. There's one axle. There's the other axle. So normally you try not to damage the axle seal when you slide the axle shaft out. But in this situation, we are replacing them anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to be tearing them out anyway. So now that 
we have the axles out. We can take the main caps off, build the carrier in. Now we want to keep these on the same side in the same up and down orientation. but we also want to make sure that the shims stay on the same side so we can measure them later. There's our carrier. All right, so this is the shim. We need the shim on this side and the shim on that side so we can measure them later when we go to set this thing up. All right, so we have the carrier and the ring gear set up. We're over here on the bench to take the ring off of it because we need to put the ring on the locker. These bolts on the ring gear are reverse thread. So I'm gonna have the impact wrench in forward to remove them. It's weird. So we have the gun forward. These are 19 millimeter on the, the bearing caps that hold it in, they're 18 millimeter. Some side gear fell out. That's okay. Got a little tap, a hammer, and I have a brass drift so I don't damage it. this carrier back together so I don't move the parts off of it. Over for now I'm gonna keep that over there. Alright we're gonna clean up the surface. Make sure these holes are clean. Got some brake cleaner. Let these holes drain. We have to reuse the bolts, so I'm closing them off because we have to put Loctite on them. All right, we're going to pause here while I get the Yukon out and get the Yukon in the vise. All right, we're back. We got the Yukon Grizzly on the box. We got the ring set on it. We're going to have to start some bolts and work her on. 
but let's not forget our Loctite. So I got the bolts cleaned and dried. Put a little bit on there. Rookie mistake, the bolts are reverse thread, remember? Left is tight. I guess another thing to watch for if you've never done this before is make sure you put the ring gear on the right side. The right the ring gear goes towards the middle, not towards the outside. Soft jaws for the voice. We're gonna set this in the voice. Seat the ring. I got the gun in reverse because they're reverse thread. Now we need to get our torque wrench. There's our torque wrench. We printed out the specs. And ring gear bolts get 89 foot. Pounds. Let me move so you can see. All we did was we drew the 
bolts up incrementally in a pattern. We're going to set our torque wrench to 89 foot pounds. Set the torque wrench to reverse. Right. Come on. We're going to have to do something different. Seated on there, now we need to put carrier bearings on the carrier. 